Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 how you doing? Taking a sip of my favorite beverage out of my Zinfin cup. I'll put the links below. Get yourself a t-shirt, get yourself some mugs, send them to all your friends and neighbors. Hey, you know when I'm talking about Zinfin, it's going to be a good day. It's a good day because of Zinfin and I just got back from my six month dental checkup and I had no cavities. Yeah, hey, at my age, that's a great thing. Um, we love our dentist, wonderful man, and his wife works there, and it's just great. Anyhow, I have my hands on a press release. Did I say press release? Zinfin, well positioned after consensus. This is unbelievable. I can't make this up. There is so much going on with Zinfin. I can't keep track anymore. Everybody's sending me videos every, um, not videos, um, links to articles every day. I appreciate it. So it says in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, the month of May, which it's not even over yet, had a lot of excitement to offer blockchain enthusiasts with events like Future Blockchain Summit, Summit in Dubai, Dubai, yeah, Dubai, annual blockchain conference in women in blockchain. There was still no event more anticipated than Consensus 2018. Zinfin sent a tool, Kakad, and Chris, Christopher, I think it's Chris. We'll find out Wednesday in my interview with them. Um, community manager and a tool as head of ecosystem development. Oh, I love that word. So most of you know that um, Zinfin had several, yea, more than several strategic meetings. And this is what a tool had to say about it. He said Zinfin's team has definitely gained a lot of confidence, listen, by being silent observers at the event. So Zinfin didn't go in with both guns blazing. They were there attentive. They were listening. They were asking questions, but they were listening to people. Atul and Chris got the opportunity to meet with a number of officials from many different governments. Many different governments. Hello including Australia and Bermuda. They had a lengthy meeting with Myron Simmons, a member of Bermuda's Senior Crown Council. Anybody that has Senior Crown in the title has to be important, okay? After their meeting, Simmons invited Zinfin to apply for a license from the Bermuda Monetary Authority. Whoa! to help rebuild Bermuda's economy. Is anybody with me out here? Is anybody buying tokens? Zinfin is currently applying for licensing in Bermuda and is looking forward to working alongside a warm and welcoming economy. Bermuda has opened the gates for Zinfin. I love this. Chris and Atul also met with the New South Wales Department of Industry, talking about trade Phoenix, and David Fruden, Crypto Mentor 99. That name sounds familiar. Say it again. David Fruden, one of the advisors who I've been talking about. I'm going to get an interview with David when he comes back from holiday, early June, is helping Zenfin takes its first step in the Australian marketplace. Hello, people. Who's buying Zinfin? Zinfin also met with Alticast, an established software and IT company based in South Korea. Crypto Mentor 99, did you say South Korea? I said South Korea. Zinfin has already started establishing itself in the US by laying groundwork by establishing its protocol engineering lab in the San Francisco Bay Area and the East 
coast with some of the finest talent in top universities. Get a load of this. I didn't know this. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Atul Kakad also met with staff from Oracle. What do you say, Crypto Mentor 99? Atul Kakad also met with staff from Oracle, who's based in California, who is well known for their cloud and financial software. Are you guys sitting down? Are you gals sitting down for the next sentence? Currently, terms are being discussed for future partnership agreements. I'm going to start yelling so my neighbors can hear me. I'm going to end with this because it's going to be Zinfin for the win. Amongst other things, Zinfin is looking into integrating XDCE on BitPie, a popular hard wallet used in the Asian markets. This is un believable. This is an historic time in Zinfin. And I'm going to end with this. Atul and Chris met with leaders from two exchanges. Everyone's always asking me about exchanges, exchanges, exchanges. Atul and Chris met with leaders from two exchanges that are ranked in the top three on coin market cap. You could guess who they are. Go to coin market cap. Both exchanges admitted they were following the developments of Zinfin's XDCE token and will be following up with Zinfin in the next few days. Both Atul and Chris agreed that their biggest takeaway was the openness from some of the government-backed entities and regulators to openly participate in the event and personally spend time with blockchain projects as Zinfin. As governments slowly begin to adopt blockchain technology, Zinfin, yeah, Zinfin's project is very matured in the blockchain and crypto ecosystem and will come to know its true potential with real projects in the coming days of which Zinfin is scheduled to speak at future blockchain conferences in the United States. When they do, I will be there. This is unbelievable. Did I, did I miss anything? Oh, and I was talking about Trade Phoenix, okay? Zinfin has over a hundred accounts. Hello. What do you say, Crypto Mentor 99? Zinfin has over a hundred accounts registered on its Trade Phoenix platform for trade and finance. People, it's Zinfin for the win. Gotta have a little beverage. I'm gonna put these links below for clothing, cups, the website to get more XDC e tokens. And I'm going to end with this. Zinfin is well positioned after consensus 2018. It's unbelievable. Thank you, Zinfin. Thank you to the team. Thank you to Chris allowing me, taking the time out of his busy schedule to have a conference or a YouTube interview with me Wednesday of this week. It's going to be awesome. Send me your questions for Chris. He's going to answer all our hard questions. I got to go. See you later. But one more thing. It's Zinfin for the win. Bye-bye.